hello and welcome to beginner level, level one, supine Pilates, which means that we're gonna be lying on our back today and we're going to do a very short practice that you can do anytime to establish core engagement. Now, I wanna preface this by saying you really need to go through alignment, breathing, and core engagement before practicing any Pilates because Pilates will not do anything for your body until you're in the alignment, breathing, core engagement mode. I have a series on that. Um, you can go to my website, carryfit.com, and you'll see that there is a little web form on the right-hand side of the, of the page that you can get it sent to you. The alignment series is four videos to practice and find your correct alignment, breathing the Pilates way, and learning how to engage your core. Okay, and then once you have that figured out, let's go to level one, supine Pilates. Here we go. I have my sweats and my shoes on today because I'm cold. And as I warm up, that might change, but I figured you wouldn't mind too much. I'm gonna get on my back safely, which means getting onto my shoulder first, and then rolling onto my back. My feet are flat and my knees are this far apart. So putting my knees that far apart means that they're lined up pretty well with my hips. My shoulder blades are all the way flat down on the ground. And then I'm gonna take my hips and I'm gonna tuck them just enough to where my spine is just lightly kissing the mat. When I do that, my ribs tend to want to go forward. So I will use the top of my abdominal walls to hold my ribs down and in, and at the same time, I'm zipping up a pair of pants that's too tight. So I've got engagement all the way through the core wall, breathing into my lungs, exhaling to keep everything nice and strong. Again, use the Alignment Breathing Core Engagement series to do that correctly. Once you're on the mat on your back, then you can feel the air going into your lungs and all the way back into the mat. Remember to keep the navel pulled up and in throughout your practice. It will not push out and in. It's always held up and in through core engagement from the bottom to the top. Okay, so warming up with this pelvic tilt, these two points here are gonna change. You exhale and just lift the pelvis slightly, breathe, exhale to set it back down. All I'm doing is just a slight tuck and really drawing this part up while lengthening the base of the spine. This is a super important warm up for the core muscles because it helps with that core engagement and it helps with spinal articulation and it reminds us to pull all of this up and in. Now we're gonna expand into a Pilates bridge. So begin with that tilt, start to peel the spine off of the mat one piece at a time. Really be intentional about peeling it off like a piece of tape. You're gonna stop where your shoulders and your knees are in one line. Make sure that your ribs are not ahead of your pelvis. They should be in line with each other. Tailbone is still tucked under, so the pelvic tilt is the magic here. Take a breath, exhale and place it back down, starting from the top. So now you're putting the piece of tape down from the top to the bottom of the spine, and right here in that lower back is where it's going to want to not want to go slow. It's going to want to kind of clunk down. So take your time there. When you get to the bottom, make sure that your pelvic tilt is last. Then you take a breath and you begin again. So start with the pelvic tilt. Start peeling the spine off of the floor one piece at a time. Get to that nice long line from shoulders to knees. Take a breath here. Exhale to place it back down, really scooping that navel up and in. Finding the length in the spine, space between every single vertebra, and paying special attention to keeping that pelvic tilt from the top to the bottom of the exercise. Now we're gonna try it with knees together. So without changing my feet, I just press my knees together and try to keep my inner thighs connected. Exhale to tuck under, continue lifting the spine off the mat. It's the same idea, it just got a little harder. Trying to keep the legs connected and the inner thighs engaged. Inner thighs connect all the way up and help us engage that core. Exhaling on the way back down. Placing each piece of the vertebra, vertebra down like it's its own special little spot. Breathe. Exhale and tuck first, then begin to lift. Find that spot at the top, breathe. Exhale to place back down. 
not letting go of those inner thighs, those knees nice and strong. And then separate the knees back out. Take a little moment if you need it. Take a breath, exhale, and bring your right knee over the hip bone. So we've got a 90 degree angle from your hip to your knee to your ankle. Tuck the tummy up and in. Make sure that your pelvis is still flat, not angled over to one side. Hip bones are pointed up, belly's pulled in, the entire back is on the floor. Hands to the thigh, thigh to the hands. Press as hard as you can while you exhale for three, two, one. Inhale to set that foot down. Other foot comes up, find your spot. Exhale, three, two, one. Now, something should happen when you press. It shouldn't just kind of be floating out there in space. You should feel the center of your body having to work harder to keep that chain, the circuit chain, working. Lift it, exhale, three, two, one. Inhale down, lift, exhale, three, two, one. Now for counts of one. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Do not rock side to side. Use your muscles. And one more here and set it down. Now going to poles, bring the right knee all the way in, lay the left leg all the way out. Press down through the left leg and pull in through the right at the same time. Take the right ankle slightly away from the center of the body so that it's in line with the knee and the hip. Get a nice little stretch here and then set that foot down, lay it all the way out, bend the left knee, bring it in, grab it, pull. Pull the left leg, press down through the right, And now we're just going to do alternating pulls with a bent knee. So set that leg down, bring the other knee to bent, pull, exhale, inhale down, pull, inhale down. So drawing the navel away from the thigh is a practice, making sure that they stay away from each other, getting a good pull. Now I'm going to lengthen the legs, same idea with longer legs. Before I begin, I'm going to take my hands underneath my back because as we lay the legs out, what happens? Your back is going to lift a little bit. That's called neutral spine and that's normal. If you take your hands underneath there and you just lightly press your back into your hands, that's going to help that front core engagement without over pushing into the mat. So you don't want this because that makes my shoulder pop and it's a little too curved. You want a nice neutral spine with the tummy muscles pulled up and in. Exhale as you pull that right knee in. Inhale as it goes long. Make sure that you can keep the tummy up and in. Exhale as you pull. Inhale, keep the tummy in. Exhale here. Inhale long. Exhale here. Inhale long. If you're having a hard time keeping the tummy up and in while your legs go long, then go back to the bent knee position. That will help reduce that lever for you. Okay, now we're going to do side to side. So lay that left leg out, bring the right knee over your hip bone, and remember that feeling of pulling this up and in and our back being nice and long. Keep that same engagement like you're pushing into your hands, even though your hands right now are free. So 90 degree angle here, drawing the navel up and in, hands go out to the sides. You're gonna cross the knee, across the body, and then out to the side. Now here's the key. Shoulders and hips are not moving. The stabilizing leg, not moving. Big toe is pointed up. The only thing that's moving is this leg. Exhale as it crosses, inhale as it opens out. Tummy muscles stay up and in and help us stay in control. I'm checking my hip bones. The hips should be facing the ceiling the whole time, not shifting side to side. Then set that right foot down. Lay it all the way out, bend the left foot, bring it up, find the position, let it go, cross the body, exhale, open, inhale, cross and exhale, open, inhale, exhale as you cross, open, exhale, and open, directing with the knee, hips stay the same, come back to the center, and set it down. Okay, one more thing for each side and it's gonna go from a straight leg. So again, if you struggle with straight leg, 
Keep a slight bend in the knee. But to get started, we're gonna try to get that leg nice and straight. And we're gonna ease into a little bit of a hamstring stretch so that we have a little more mobility, flexibility in the back of the leg. We're gonna slowly send that right leg, or that left leg down. We're gonna press down through the left, pull in through the right, lots of space for the hips. Tummy muscles pulled up and in. Bend the knee, set it down. Bend the other knee, bring it up. Slowly extend, get a little stretch in that hamstring. Press down through the right leg at the same time. Getting some space for those hips. And now is when we're gonna start switching legs. Send that left leg down, right leg comes up, exhale. Inhale on the way down, scoop up and in. Exhale on the way up, pull. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up, pull. If your tummy is is pushing outward, go to a bent knee. Don't take any chances with the abdominals going in the wrong direction. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. One more on each side. And sending them down. So that is your level one beginning start for Pilates from a supine position.